I went to a local comic and toy show in Beacon, New York. All right, guys, so I went to a comic book and toy show. I've got a lot to talk about. Before we do, I want to remind everybody what not, guys. Give me a follow on there. I've already got the New York Comic Con show set up, and I've got Mark Morales coming on to auction off some stuff from him. Uh, I'm also working on other artists. So at New York Comic Con, during the four-day show, every night, I have someone for you. That's fingers crossed. I'm working on it. I think it'll be a really cool and a great show. And of course, every Tuesday night, I'm on. Erod 212 starts at 7 o'clock. I'm on at 8.30 and Davis Ryder at 10 o'clock for Attack on Tuesdays on whatnot. With that, let's get into this video. I, this was fun. Um, and it, fun, funny thing enough is I actually went with my family. I never get to do that. So that was kind of cool. My daughter picked out a few things. I picked up a couple things. I didn't get to dig through boxes to look for books. And to be honest, I kind of wanted to go to the show and look for toys. And the reason was the day before, I'm not sure which order all these videos are going to come out, so I apologize. But the day before, this show was a Sunday. The day before, Saturday, I was actually at another local con, but that was more a comic book show. And I actually did pick up some comic book stuff. Unfortunately, at this show... I didn't pick up something I wanted to go back and buy just because I forgot. Uh, we were in Beacon. Beacon's like one of those towns, uh, Main Street, where there's like all kinds of restaurants and little shops and stuff. So we whipped around the show really quick. We went out, we got lunch. We went to a few shops, walked down Main Street, and then we came back to the show really quick because I, wa- I knew what I wanted and I wanted to pick it up, and, but I forgot the other thing and I'll talk about it at the end of the video. So without further ado, let's get into the show. Let's take a look at the Beacon comic book and toy show or toy and comic book show i'm not sure we're just outside this toy show so let's comic and toy show so let's start looking at stuff a little closer um, i'm sure I, I, i've seen you there yeah. i do king con oh yeah then i'll see you in a few weeks yeah. you're doing it this time yes sir yeah I, I've, awesome i've been doing it since the first one yeah same i do super jersey comic expo oh all right well I think any of this stuff. Well. Let me see what we got for slabs. Uh, yeah, that one I definitely won't be at. Where's that? That's in Holmdale, New Jersey. Okay. The stroke. Harley. Early Harley. All right. We got to keep moving here. That's the Impel. I could do 220 on this. Okay. I really like that thing. You do? Look, this is the first time I've actually gone to a show with... Can we wave? <laughs> a little one. I do. Yeah. Thinking. We got Marvel Masterpiece. Yeah. I may pick up some of these yeah, just for fun. And I may pick up one of these just for fun. We'll see. I'm going to have to keep looking. We're going to have to go inside. More toys. Pick out a toy. Pick out a toy. Did you want to try yeah, it? Any one of toys you want. Go ahead, peeps. Anyone. You pick one for your brother or sister. <laughs> We see half of a Castle Grayskull. <laughs> I have two full ones. This guy over here. I am looking through books. Gary! What's up, man? What's up, brother? How you doing? Good. I saw that you'd be up here, so... Thank you for coming, my friend. Yeah. How has the show been? Like, comment, subscribe. And Gary's channel. You better do that. How's the show been? It's been amazing. Yeah, it's amazing. fun. Great people, great time. Yeah, it's just gorgeous Good. today. It is nice out. It is nice out. People picking up some big books. And yeah, everything. good. Look at stacks of stuff. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna have to make our way inside. Is this you? This is you two oh, over yeah, here, so huh? Some toys just for you, uh... Yeah, it makes sense, right? There's a lot of toys. That this is kind of fifty-fifty. It was a, a toy slash comic. I thought it was more comic, and then when they told me, Sean said, "No, oh, it's toys too." I was like, I "Oh." Just this, I just bought this entire collection Wednesday. Oh, beautiful. I was like, I'll bring it all out. And yeah, we'll look through. Please do. Let's see what what street side have up in here. Oh, street side Anthony showing up in my neck of the woods. All right, we're gonna keep looking. All right, guys, we are in to this toy show. But you know, the comics come with the toys, right? Aren't they kind of together? We have to do some digging. Definitely have to do some digging. Yeah. 
for all the Yu-Gi-Oh guys out there. A lot of Funkos. And we got the big ones. Look. <laughs> and we got some slabs. This is a good, I'm not gonna lie to you guys, this is a good mix of comics and toys. And cards. Look, more stuff. A lot of toys. But this this show is advertised as a comic and toy show. <laughs> This is a... I'm going home with something, guys. Something. I'm not sure what. Whether it's toys... It won't be Power Ranger stuff. But it might be something. No, I don't think so. <laughs> I mean, look, Funko on Funkos. Funkos on Funkos. But I like this. Turn the corner and we've got some more, some vintage stuff. I say vintage, it's the stuff I had. I know, I know. Those are ours from our time period, the 80s. Teletubbies, not so much. Anyone looking for a Welcome Cotter card set? This is Polly Probably Pocket. not. Mommy had one of these too. Look at these are all Polly Pound Pocket. Puppies, Care Bears. The original. Alf cards. Look at that. See, when I think of a toy show, I think of something like this. I mean, the new stuff too, don't get me wrong, but. I mean, the king. Yeah, the Coco Bunny. Yeah, the Coco Bunny. I think it was the Coco Bunny. A Gumby watch. All you guys watching this video right now who grew up in the 80s and 90s, you know. If you don't know who Ernest is, come on. Oh, a pound puppy. A pound puppy. We have some comics, but uh, I think these guys are going to be going home with these books. Oh yeah, McDonald's Burger. Yeah. What do we got here? Hmm. More Funko. They have chipmunks. Those are. That's what Alvin and the chipmunks look like when it was on TV when Mommy and Daddy were little. Let's go back over here. All the chipmunk toys. Willow. Come on, guys. I know you guys remember Willow. Oh, nice Star Phoebe's no hands on that one. We got a lot of Star Wars. Star Wars. Puzzle. Oh. Star Wars cards. Unpunched. Those are not raisinets. Those are the California raisins. E.T., Yoda, oh, Jar Jar, ugh. Well, we do have some old Star Wars Tops cards, Return of the Jedi. Let's come back around here. Big Marvel Selects, big old Juggernaut, Lizard, and Planet Hulk. Look at, these are cool. I might have to pick some of these up. A lot of Funkos at these toy shows. Oh, I like the old school, well, the 2000s Masters of the Universe. It's a great tart, great cartoon. Right, this is already the end of the show, it's just a square. I do want to take a look at Orko.
All right, so you saw some familiar faces in that video and um, what I wasn't able to go back and pick up because I forgot were all the cards. I was so disappointed. I wanted to pick up that box of Marvel Masterpieces. I thought it would be so cool to either break open in a video or do it on whatnot or something like that, something for fun. And I just, I completely forgot. I was so focused on a few toys I wanted to pick up and just slipped my mind, slipped my mind. So, um, yeah, I hope, I hope you guys got a good, and we're going to talk about some things here, but I hope you guys got a good sense of the size. It wasn't a very big show. I mean, think of like a really, like, like a very small hall. You saw a bunch of vendors set up outside. You saw street side Anthony. Um, so, uh, but it was good. It was $2 to get in. It cost me and my wife four bucks to get in. Um, my kids were free. Great. I mean, how can you, you can't beat it. doesn't matter if it was like two vendors for $2. It, it's, it was nothing. So uh, what did I pick up? I only, I picked up four Marvel select figures because uh, I'll explain in a second. Well, I picked up the planet Hulk one. I thought he was cool as hell. These are heavy guys. These are heavy before I get into the rest. Uh, what I'm going to do next week. Oh man, I don't know when this video is coming out. You know what? I'm going to put this video out Friday. All right. It'll come out before the other one. Anyway, uh, next Tuesday on Attack on Tuesdays on Whatnot, it is a 100% complete giveaway show. So bookmark that. All I'm doing for 90 minutes is giving away books, but I'm going to load up the Buy It Nows for people that may want to go shopping and, and look for some books. So I will have stuff in the Buy It Now section, but there won't be a single auction on next week's show, Tuesday. Uh, we're just going to be giving stuff away. But I also have a really cool Buy It Now idea of uh, basically spinning a wheel and a different item for each spot on the wheel. And I'll get into that during the show. But the idea behind these toys was that's gonna be one spot on the wheel. I'm gonna probably do three of these figures on the wheel. Like if you hit that, you get to pick three of these figures because I have four and the fourth figure ends up being a giveaway item. So we had the Planet Hulk Hulk one more time. These are these are big, man. These are big ones. Uh, that's what she said. All right, here we go. Here's another monster, Juggernaut, huge. Pick this guy up. These are heavy. These are going to be a bear to ship, but it'll be really cool. Also got over here, Savage Hulk, but basically he's like the old school original looking Hulk. Cool as hell. Uh, this will be part of that Tuesday night giveaway show. And then this one, I think this this one and the Planet Hulk one may be my favorite. Juggernaut's pretty cool. I don't know which ones are my favorite, but this is the Abomination. Really awesome. These are the Marvel Selects. They're like a, I don't know if they're a step up from the Marvel Legends. I think they are, but I also don't think they make the Selects anymore. These things are so big, so heavy. So keep an eye out. Definitely want to bookmark next week's giveaway show because some of the stuff will be given away. Some of it will be buy it now as so we're going to do the wheel thing. Um, it should be a lot of fun. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope you guys enjoyed the Beacon Comic and Toy Show. Uh, I this is the second time they did it again not very big but they packed people in there they packed the vendors in there so you got your two dollars worth it was absolutely worth it going so I recommend it next year uh, that's it for this video guys I hope you enjoyed this show something a little different for the channel I like different and uh, as always keep it comics and and maybe maybe toys once in a while